Hi everyone, um, just thought I would come and speak to all of our followers um, and say thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I've thought long and hard about doing this video, um, but I've just had an amazing meeting with somebody who shares the same vision and the same passion for improving racial equity racial representation um, within the dance industry and performing arts. Um, and I actually spoke about an experience that I had earlier this year um, and actually made me think, why did I not share this with everybody um, so that they have a better understanding of what is actually going on in 2023, um, has been going on and is still going on. Um, and this experience really, really affected me emotionally it was a huge trigger for me i wasn't expecting it and it knocked me sideways and actually um i'm at the point in my life where i'm just gonna get over the fear of not speaking out um it was an experience i had um at an event earlier this year and as you know well many of you know that uh, myself and my business partner Laura Grant founded um, the Tide Movement back in 2020, but we also launched our new dance range, um, Shades Dancewear, um, that offers four shades of skin tone in all of our products, um, in ballet shoes, jazz shoes, ballet tights, ballet socks, from the age of two years old. Um, this is something new for us, and we're very excited and very proud of the achievements we've made so far and the support that we've had. Um, and at this event, um, I was having a conversation with somebody else about the work that we were doing with the tired movement and I felt somebody grab my arm and I, at first I thought it was somebody that I knew um, and then when I looked round there was a person stood in front of me, a white person stood in front of me who had hold of my arm and said to me, can I borrow your skin? And it really took me back. I, I was confused. I was shocked. Uh, what do you mean? Can you borrow my skin? And this person was referring to the colour match swatch that we've created for Shades Dancewear and um, where uh, customers can buy. Um, they get a free colour match swatch that they can order prior to purchasing any of our products where there are four strips of the tights in four different shades so you can put your arm in or put your leg in to match your skin tone um, before you buy any of our products so you know that you're buying the right shade and she wanted to borrow my skin to match the colour my skin to the swatch because she had some Indians at her dance school now, this completely knocked me sideways. I literally couldn't believe that first she had hold of my arm, so she placed her hands on me, but then proceeded to say that she wanted to match my skin to a colour match swatch and thought that it was acceptable to put her hands on my body. Um, I, I was flabbergasted. I, it took me a while to just catch my breath and say, you know, how am I going to deal with this situation? Um, inside, my blood was boiling. I was raging. Um, but there was this emotion that was sat here, like, I need to hold this down. I need to say this in the right way to educate this person. I could have stood there and shouted and screamed at her um, because it was really painful. Or I, there was an opportunity to educate, and I took that opportunity. But throughout the conversation, there was gaslighting when I was trying to explain the work that the Tide Movement was doing. And at one point I thought, actually, I'm getting through. Um, and then towards the end of the conversation, um, after a bit more gaslighting, um, she proceeded to tell me that she was an examiner and an adjudicator. And that is why we're doing what we're doing. Because these are the challenges that we are facing. These are the issues that need to be addressed. And this person is a current examiner in this country and adjudicator. And yeah, we need to do better. They need to do better um, because that is not acceptable. Um, 
And so, yeah, I've said it. I've come out and I've said that. Um, and I feel that people need to also get over their fear and start speaking out. It can't just be one or two voices. It needs to be a collective of voices. Um, and I know there are so many inspirational people in this industry who are doing the same, but there are not enough because of the fear of being blacklisted, the fear of not getting jobs dropped by your agents, not getting castings, all of those things. It needs to stop. Um, and I actually feel a little bit lighter now I've said that out loud and um, hopefully um, it might open some people's eyes. Um, it might be triggering for the people that hear this because you may have experienced the same um, experience that I um, had. Um, and when that experience happened, I removed myself from the situation and I was... I just broke down in tears because I literally couldn't believe that somebody had the audacity to do that to me and think that that was okay. And it's not okay.